Why is it this big? Mother. Oh, hey, Sam. Hey. What you got for me? I got the mail and it looks important. A uh, letter from the IRS. You have no money. Your channel is lulz. Oh, Please subscribe man. to PewDiePie or else. Drone Clash. Uh, what's that? I don't know. What's in here? Hopefully money. Wait, is that, is that B-roll? Wow, check that out, Sam. Look at this drone. That was easy. Uh, that's not really how this actually worked. Uh... Sam, check it out. Look at this drone. Why is it green? Uh, I don't know, just leftover scrap. Oh. Pretty much, uh, let's try test flying it first. Here you can see the camera. Oh. All right. Wait, which is front? I don't even know. Huh. You can be defeated with a flip flop. I think we need to figure something out. Uh, it's definitely toasty. All right, all right, okay, okay. Yeah. We didn't talk about much about this at all, but hey, um, this sucks. <laughs> See what I did there? Well, uh, actually, with the screen, I think the screen is affecting too much of the airflow, so we're gonna try flying without the screen. So let's try that. That's better. It definitely takes a lot less power to fly now. So we need to find a good compromise of how do we not affect the airflow going into the props while making sure things don't go into the props because we're gonna have to deal with the battling and you know, people throwing strings into our drone. And we have to do it without cheating. All right, so I'm gonna try these little airflow straighteners because I think a lot of the turbulence is coming off these flat parts. So when the air comes around, it kind of curls and and like spirals and creates all this aero drag. So hopefully these things kind of keep the airflow attached and then it kind of merges back together and we can try to fly longer. Also, how long do you think they can actually fly Sam on a 2200 milliamp 4S? Six minutes. All right, I think it will do seven. So let's see how long it flies. How long was that, Sam? 
It was eight minutes and forty three seconds. Eight minutes. I'm closer. Ha ha. ha. Okay. So yeah, that's but not you bad. All right. Oh, that's that's cold. Everything's cold. Bag's just warm. This is perfect. All right. Okay. Now we need to work on the grates and figure out how we're gonna stop crap from going inside of this. And also, we need to be able to fly accurate with this. So. Look at all these things we found. So we got eight minutes of flight time. I'm very happy with that because I'm pretty sure these battles don't last more than a few minutes. Now I'm trying to take some screens and figure out what's the best way to protect these props from, uh, yeah, stuff. Wouldn't it be better without them? I'm just meshing with you. You're fired. All right, Sam, I guess we're gonna try. We tried this mesh first and to see how much this affects performance. Ultimately, the idea is to like use something heavy duty because this is like metal. So these quad blades on most of the drones should not be able to cut through this. But they, however, can cut through this aluminum stuff, this thin mesh. So... But the that's gold, metal too. It's aluminum. So the, this is to protect it from the majority of the propellers, and this protects it from string and the other small stuff the competitors may try to throw into a drone. I didn't realize aluminum is not metal. It is metal. Are you dense or something? I think it's not bad. The motors are just a little bit spicy. Probably like two out of 10 on the spicy scale so far. Man, I saw this thing land right on mm -hmm. that. Well, I was like, and I was rrr, like rrr. what are you gonna do about that? Water. Clean it, sensor. It's probably dirty. And we're back. I think you missed. Okay, but yeah, so this works good. Let's try, let's add the mesh back. Okay, so you initially saw the first flight when we put the screen on it. We filmed that, right? Yes. Okay, we did. All right, but anyways, the reason why it kind of sucked <laughs> is because um, the problem is with these ducts, to make a quadcopter fly, you have to pull in air and push it down. So it's basically just, you know, one, one equal reaction for an opposite reaction, full boss of science stuff, right? Okay. Basically, it's pushing air down and the quadcopter goes up. Now the problem was this mesh is really interfering with our, uh, our power system because uh, we have to move that you know quantity of air through a given uh, through a given what is this? I'm really bad with the science today. I think Diameter I, rotor hole drill. I don't know. But either way, we have to pull the air through that small amount of area. So we're moving a high velocity of air through this small channel, and the it's not a big deal for the duct itself because it's shaped for that, so it can pull the air through. The problem is the screen itself is moving such a high velocity of air. The screen itself is sucking the quad down into that which is kind of ruining our efficiency and making the motors run a lot harder than they should. So the thing is to get the screen away from the ducts and a lot more volume of screen, surface area. But either way, just to reduce the amount of air that has to go through this passageway so we have more screen there so this thing can hopefully fly better, right? The area of the holes will be bigger in the screen. Okay, whatever, you're the one supposed to be doing the science. a throttle increase or drop once the screen goes on there so that is helping displacing the screen away from these the the ducts themselves because it's also disturbing the airflow as it's going around there because that's the whole reason of having the duct kind of like a curved shape so it pulls in air from all sides and goes into the duct so i think this is working let's try to attach the screen on here a little bit better telemetry recovered Out, Sam. Uh, so your turtle mode definitely works. I tried a new screen thing gone here. Basically, I'm trying to you know do that thing where I'm displacing the amount of suction that has to go through the duct, so we're drawing in more air through more of the screen to reduce the um, efficiency losses. But let's see how it flies. I have to do this. Oh, this way. Yeah, it I looks 
too heavy. <laughs> Maybe I don't like that. Should we just go Walmart and look for more stuff? I guess. Yeah, let's go to Walmart and look for more stuff. Mm, what about this one? Check out that box. Maybe not. Yeah, okay, then there's that one. What about this one, too? Let's get this one. Or that one. We need to fix that. I think it's time we actually battle a quad because right now I, I don't think we can go any further with this. Uh... Look who showed up. Son of a You want to go here? Let's go. All right, first we should probably battle these. Okay, okay. So we've done a lot of testing with this as far as, you know, throwing stupid things at it, but we haven't tested it against another drone. So we have Simeon 95 here, and uh, he's one of our drone fighter pilots. We'll talk about them probably more in the next video. But however, we need to take this drone and smash into that one and see just how strong this drone is or how drone proof it is. Yay? Yeah. Okay, action. <laughs> Clay? <laughs> my microwave! <laughs> we need to my microwave with your quad. Alien 5 inch. Yeah. <laughs> Damage report? Oh, we might need to protect the battery a little bit because those prop quads are pretty sharp. Ooh, it did a number on my uh, airflow straightener. I'm good. Uh, my yeah. carbon's good. That works really well. The motors are warm. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. I think you need to work on your fighter drone a little bit. But hey, I mean, well, I we guess uh, we couldn't really bring it down with another drone other than slamming it to the ground momentarily. So I think it's, uh, is there anything left to do, Sam? Uh, no, I think we're ready to go. We need to decorate it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the decorating is complete. Oh, I didn't mention it, but uh, we're going as Team Murka. So, red, white, and blue theme? Yeah, it's pretty legit. All right, I think the last thing we have to do is this endurance test it and see how awful our endurance is now. What you thinking? I think those feathers add too no, much no, no, no. weight. Flight time. I think six minutes? What do you say? Three. Three? Oh, that's awful. Uh, start your watch now.
Great time of power. Oh, that wasn't very good at all. Yeah, I'm down in four minutes. This is pretty awful. Okay. Uh, well, I think that's probably as good as it's going to get with this drone. So, actually, let's go back over the table. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. I mean, it's down from eight minutes to four minutes, which is a really big efficiency hit. But anyways, that wraps up this part of the video. The next time you'll see a video will be in Amsterdam participating in Drone Clash. Now, I probably didn't actually really mention what it is. Sam, what is it? It's an awesome competition, and there's going to be eight other teams we're okay. fighting against. Yeah, so we're going to fight against them. Basically, how it works is there's a queen drone and a bunch of fighter drones. The queen drones has to stay alive on each side, and the other side sends their fighter drones to kind of take down the other queen. The first one loses their queen on that side, loses. So that's why I've been working on this video, making this awesome queen. We didn't really show any fighters, but the thing is, I have uh, some really, uh, really talented pilots. We have Tommy, and we have Kevin from Rotor Riot, and we also have Clay, which you saw earlier, smashing into this. So they're working on their own quads, which you may see on their own channels. We'll link them if they post them soon. Anyways, stay tuned for that. Huge thanks to our sponsors, too, for this video. Lumineer, uh, Glacier Batteries, FR Sky, that hooked us up some stuff. So, yeah. Um, wish us luck. 30K, right, Sam? 30 euros. 30 euros, 30, yay. Euros. Okay, sweet. I'm looking forward to that. Wish us luck. And that's it for this video. Also, thank you, Run Cam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Run Cam. Yeah, we're going to put the FPV on this thing next. That's it.